Medal of Honor recipient, retired Colonel Bruce Crandall, paid a visit to Naval Support Activity Suda Bay. Seaman Brent Pyfram has more. Medal of Honor recipient, retired Army Colonel Bruce P. Crandall, visits Naval Support Activity Suda Bay. Uh, it is the highest military decoration the President of the United States could confer on someone and is an award for action above and beyond the call of duty. During the Vietnam War, Crandall flew 22 missions in an unarmed helicopter into heavy enemy fire to bring supplies and ammunition and evacuate the wounded. He explains how it feels to be a Medal of Honor recipient. Thank you, thank you. Well, I, it's a great honor. No one can have a greater honor than to be in that group because uh, you know you don't deserve it, you know that you are doing just your job, but every one of those people feels the same way. So you, you have a, a kinship with uh, the medal recipients, and they run an age from the late 90s down to the 22-year-old Marine that we just recently got. He also explains how it feels to come back and speak with the younger generation of service members. It makes me feel young. It really does. I, there is no feeling like being around the military. I put the uniform back on, and uh, it, it is great. And as for the Medal of Honor itself, he shares his thoughts. The thought that runs through my head is I didn't earn it. I, I was doing, just doing my job. The Medal of Honor is the highest award for valor in action against an enemy force. The medal is awarded to U.S. service members and is generally presented by the President of the United States on behalf of Congress. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.